I made a small LED light organ on 7.2 volts. So that means six nickel cadmium batteries in series. And it has some flaws. Perhaps um, it works, but um, the whole circuit is somewhat critical. You see how it was made. Uh, the line level audio energy goes via this capacitor into this uh, voltage divider. It reaches a two, uh, sorry, a three-stage Darlington here, BC547B, BC547B, 2 and 3055, and here in the collector lead from the uh, 2 and 3055 there are a lot of LEDs, white LEDs in particular. These are the pin connections from the used transistors. And I say it's somewhat critical because this potentiometer here, 220K, has to be aligned to a very specific level. And there is a small range where it all works. And this is the input level, and that's less critical, but anyway, it works, but perhaps it needs some uh, elaboration for everyone interested in electronics. I want to demonstrate it now. I play music on this uh, CD player for Pioneer. Uh, you don't hear the music because um, perhaps that's uh, not good on YouTube, but I mean it's copyrighted perhaps, so you only see the LED light up or not. And these lights, these LEDs light up on the music at the moment. And I also want to show, when it's possible, the critical part. This potentiometer here sets the working point from the three stage Darlington. When I change the wiper from that potentiometer, you can see that it's very critical. So you have perhaps to do some adaptations to the value from that potentiometer. It's now 220k, but with some, with the help of some uh, resistors, you can get it into a another range. That's always a trick with these types of uh, circuits. You have to adaptate, adapt, sorry, adapt the circuit somewhat. Uh, for instance, by using a resistor here in parallel with that potentiometer or on the other side, or take a lower value. So try to get uh, into the range where this potentiometer works. And important is that this uh, voltage here between the base and the zero is not high. So you have to find a potentiometer that can um, align the voltage here to a quite low value. So that's the only adaptation that has to be made to this circuit. I don't have enough time. I'm going to my next project. But I think this is a funny circuit, especially for kids or so. And it can be quite successful.